That's easy, basically everything. So government, financial, internet, commerce, anything that uh, log on servers, anything, okay, so corporations, anything that requires two entities to share data. So if I'm trying to log into a website, what I'm trying to do is authenticate myself to that website. That means that I've got a password or I've got biometrics, but I've got data which is stored that needs to be exchanged with the other side in such a way that a third party cannot read the data in transit or if I have um, uh, secure data such as my bank account information and uh, access to the servers that control what my bank account information is, um, that would be called data at rest. And we want to make sure that even if you have data at rest, that a bad actor cannot attack that data and given enough time, reverse engineer it enough so that financial operations could be uh, performed. So you have attacks against data live, data that's being exchanged real time, and you have attacks, especially, for example, against government secrets, secret documents, secret uh, plans. Anything that needs to be kept secret needs to be resistant to quantum computing. So everything, everything, could be affected by quantum computing. Triple cyber, triple enabling the internet.